Welcome back once again to HowToCookGreatFood.com. If you haven't, please sub subscribe to our channel by clicking that red button. Okay, let's get on with this beautiful chicken. I've got some legs here, chicken legs. I've cleaned them really well. Skin's on, the bone is in. I'm gonna go straight in with some salt and pepper. I'm using a black pepper and a little bit of sea salt. There you go. Up here I've got a little bit of dried oregano or oregano as our friends in America say and a little bit of dried basil okay one bay leaf and that goes there quality olive oil let's pour some of that over there beautiful right garlic I've got we're gonna put a lot of garlic in this by the way that amount that's a tablespoon finely chopped garlic huge amount we really want the garlic to come out in this dish simply my hands are clean in I go and we're just gonna mix this around now what I want to do is I want to leave this for at least two hours let that garlic really get in to all of our chicken so shrink wrap or cling film over the top into the refrigerator minimum two hours overnight would be absolutely divine and if you want you can cook straight away but it just won't be quite the same we just need a little bit of time to kind of get some of them juices happen in there so I'll be back in two hours and I'll see you then okay let's get moving I've got a decent sized pan here the heat's on nothing in it I'm not putting any oil in because our chicken don't forget it's been in that olive oil so what I'm going to do, place in our chicken, there's the balance of our marination, let's pop that baby in, the rest of that garlic and olive oil there. Now I'm on a kind of medium heat, I don't want to fry the life out of these because they'll just burn on the outside and won't be cooked in the centre. So fairly low. Let's cook these for about five minutes, a couple of minutes each side basically with the lid off. Take a look then, then we get the lid on. So I'll be back in five. So here we are. These have just been cooking just for a few minutes, not that five minutes, you know, I've turned them over a couple of times. Fairly gentle heat and they're nowhere near done, you know that. We've just kind of got a little bit of the flavor and kind of round them up slightly. But optional this is, I'm just gonna add in a little bit of dry, Red chili, completely optional, I'm tell you for you. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with some lovely red onions sliced. Quite a few there. Simply we're going on with the lid. Keep your eye on here, I'll be back in five minutes. See you then. So let's jump in now and take a look. looking fantastic our onions are cooking but not browning that much they've you know just turned that kind of really nice white I don't want to burn them now some sliced fresh tomatoes in they go I prefer to use fresh tomatoes than tinned and puree and that kind of other stuff just keeps it a bit more natural a little bit of juice of the tomatoes now, the riper your tomatoes, the better. What we're gonna do, the lid's gonna go back on. We're gonna cook this and the steam that is created is gonna break them down and give us a little bit of a sauce. Now, depending on how juicy they are, the tomatoes, I don't know myself yet, we may add a splash of water or not. I'll be back in about five or six minutes. Okay, let's have a look, let me just get a little bit of steam out of there so it doesn't go on the camera lens. Right, there you go, as you can see there, it's breaking down really nicely. Now's the time to give them a good mix. Now these look juicy enough to me, I'm not gonna add any water, I don't want a big, big sauce happening here. Mix them around. Let them break down a little bit. Now I'm going to lower the heat to a simmer. The 
lid's gonna go back on. I'm gonna simmer this away now for about 10 minutes. See that? Okay, here we go. Final stage. This is looking absolutely delicious to me. Chicken is cooked nicely. I'm just gonna finish this off with a few green olives. I just add a nice little flavor. You could add some fresh basil now, some parsley. Check that for salt. I think it's fine, I've had a little taste myself already. This is delicious with some pasta. Hope you enjoy it. See you again next time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Take care.